access to justice through empowerment of its citizen is the defining measure of a progressive nation and a just society. We must therefore collectively ensure that our laws delivered on the state's duty to respect, protect and fulfill human rights and that the disadvantaged are not excluded from the processes that advance the cause of justice. At the same time, we need to ensure that the laws that govern the daily lives of our citizens are certain, stable and reasonable. At a time when the demand for judicial reforms and change in the legal processes has acquired a new urgency, we must ensure that the voice of sanity and logic is not subordinated to the momentary impulses of the day. Fundamental and time-tested principles of law and natural justice must not be compromised to satiate the shrill rhetoric that often defines our political discourse and sometimes succeed in, in drowning appeals to logic and justice. Ladies and gentlemen, the national outrage at the recent horrific tragedy of gang rape in Delhi compelled an urgent introspection about our laws and justice delivery system. But we must not allow ourselves to be overcome by a sense of despair at some of the demonstrated inadequacies of our legal system. On its part, our government has moved with expedition to respond to the felt sensitivities of the people in the aftermath of this gruesome tragedy and have brought about significant amendments in the criminal law to effectively deal with heinous offences against women. I agree fully with Honorable Chief Justice Shri Althamas Kabir that we need to significantly enhance the number of judges to administer justice. The judge to population ratio at the current level of 15.5 judges per million population is indeed grossly inadequate. 